Well, you know the words, made on honor, sold on merit. The famous Narragansett beer has a rich history right here in the Ocean State. And now they are continuing to move forward with a new brewery location right there at India Point. I recently dropped by to meet the team and learn more. Mark, we're behind the bar here. What's yes. it going to take for me to put my head under one of the taps? Um... <laughs> Well, maybe we'll get back to that later, but here's what you need to know. The new Narragansett Beer Providence Brewery is now open and ready to welcome you. This is our new home here at India Point Park, right on the waterfront, just off the Gano Street exit, right on the East Bay Bike Path. They're honored to carry on the great historical Gansett tradition right here in Rhode Island. Pride is the one word that I'd use. It's just such a great story. We're in our 131st year and People come in, talk about their grandfathers and uncles and just, or drinking in college. We've got tourists coming back in the summertime and it's just, um, it's just great stories, you know what I mean? They're looking forward to their first Oktoberfest this weekend, complete with German style beers and more. We've got German dancers, we've got German bands, we've got um, bratwurst, sauerkraut, mustard, pretzels, potato pancakes, everything you could ever ask for. Can I buy my ticket now? Yes, <laughs> yes, you're my personal guest. <laughs> Finally! But not so fast. Before celebrating officially, while I was there, I had to learn more about the process. From grain to glass, we get malt in from various places. We use a local malt house, and some of it comes from Germany, some comes from England. So it shows up, we mill it in, and then we mash it in, which means we mix it with a certain temperature of water, which extracts all the sugars from the malt, and that's what the yeast eats to make alcohol. Ah, this is my kind of flight. Lee echoes that same sense of pride. Building a brick and mortar Narragansett brewery here in Rhode Island has been a dream for so many people for so many years, and to be spearheading the brewing process here is incredible. But what about those new fall flavors for the season? We just brewed Narragansett's very first pumpkin ale. It's a spiced English ale uh, with pumpkin in it. And we also have a fest beer for our Oktoberfest party, which is one of the company's tried and true favorites of the brand. I'm so grateful for this opportunity, and it's amazing to just experiment with all these different styles that the brand hasn't seen before. Finally, it really is a team effort at this brewery, as Tony Barber told us. I am responsible for the beer after Lee brews it in the tank. So once it goes from the brew house into a fermenter, that's where I take over, uh, make sure that the temperature's are correct, add all the hop additions or any other additions that we're doing at that point, and make sure that it's transferred to where it needs to be, carbonated to where it needs to be, and get into a package. Everybody's moving in the same direction. When one person's gone, it definitely affects the team drastically. The sense of history is alive and well at this spectacular location on Tokwatton Street in Providence. I didn't know how awesome it was going to be until I got here and since I've been here I've had people that have come in that are probably in their 80s talking about how when their grandfather went to Brown he was drinking Gansett and that's that's really neat that's really neat just one last piece of business before I left Lee I have an idea for a new beer Roadshow Ale I love it it's light and easy okay just like me <laughs> It's such a nice place, right? We, we had a blast. We there. really did. We had a good time. The team is great. Yeah. They're doing some very unique and innovative things. And even before we went there, I've been going there like every yeah. weekend. It's a lot. So come by, say hi to That's me. Right. Buy me a beer. And <laughs> that weren't enough fun. They're now serving food as well, which is great. Now, right regarding Oktoberfest, which runs this weekend, both Saturday sessions are sold out already. Wow. But there are still tickets available for the Friday session and both Sunday sessions. You can get more details right now at roadshow.com.